With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, so the question is, given that 1 root of 2x cube plus 3x square minus 8x plus 3 is double of the another root, then we have to find the roots of the equation. So let's see the solution here. So simply in this question, we have given an equation that is 2x cube plus 3x square minus of 8x plus 3 is equals to 0. Now it is given one root of this equation is double of the another root. So for this what we will do, we will do let the one root is alpha. So another root will become twice of alpha and let's say the third root will be beta because this polynomial is a power of x cube. Now if we compare this equation by general equation, that is let's say ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d is equals to 0. So as we know the sum of root that is alpha plus twice of alpha plus beta, this should be equals to minus b by a. So this is equals to on comparing b is nothing but 3 here, a is 2. So it will simply become minus 3 divided by 2. Now we can say that 3 times of alpha plus beta, it is nothing but is equals to minus 3 by 2. Let's suppose this as equation number 1. Now similarly, we know the product of root that is alpha into 2 alpha into beta. This is equals to minus d by a. This will be equals to, now d is nothing but the constant term here, that is 3. So it will simply become minus 3 uh, divided by a is what that is 2. So from here what we get 2 alpha square into beta. Okay. This is equals to minus 3 divided by 2. Let this as equation number 2. Okay. Now similarly as we know one more relation that is alpha into 2 alpha plus 2 alpha into beta plus alpha into beta. This is nothing but is equals to c divided by a. So it will be equals to on comparing. The value of c is minus 8. Value of a is 2. So it will simply become minus 8 divided by 2. This will be equals to minus 4. Okay, let's suppose this as equation number 3. So if we simplify this, so it will become 2 alpha square plus 2 alpha beta plus alpha beta. So, 2 alpha beta plus alpha beta, it will directly become how much? That is 3 times of alpha beta, this is equals to minus 4. Okay. So, let this as equation number 3rd. Not we are considering this one. We will let this equation as 3rd. Okay. Now, if you see, so how we can simplify this? That is, if we will put the value of beta, okay, from this equation, that is from equation number 1 in this 3rd, from 1, we can say that the value of beta, it will be equals to minus 3 divided by 2 minus of 3 alpha. So, we will say put in equation 3. So, what we get that is 2 alpha square plus 3 into alpha into beta is what? Minus 3 divided by minus of 3 alpha. This is equals to what? That is minus 4. Now, on simplifying this equation, what we get that is three uh, two alpha square minus of three three is a nine divided by two times of alpha my mi plus minus will become minus three three is a nine into alpha square okay this is equals to minus four doing the denominator as common it will become four alpha square minus nine alpha minus of eighteen alpha square is equals to minus of eight because this two will go to that side get multiplied with minus four so finally here it will become uh, minus 9 alpha okay minus of now on subtracting this what we get minus of 14 alpha square is equals to minus of 8 now if you take minus sign as common so what it will become that is 9 alpha plus 14 alpha square it will be equals to 8 now if you form an equation here okay that is let's say 14 alpha square plus 9 alpha minus 8 is equals to 0 and do the factorizing here. So, we will get the value of alpha. Okay. So, we will say 14 alpha square plus 
Now, if we break 9 alpha into two part like uh, 16 alpha minus of 7 alpha minus 8 equals to 0, taking a uh, 2 alpha as common, it will remain 2 7 the 14 into alpha minus of actually it will remain plus 8 okay because plus 16 alpha is here minus of minus sign taking common it will remain 7 alpha plus 8 equals to 0 so once we get 7 alpha plus 8 and in another bracket it will be at 2 alpha minus of 1 is equals to 0 so from here we will get the alpha alpha is equals to once it will be minus 8 by 7 and once it will be 1 by 2. Now, here we are getting the two values of alpha. So, ultimately on putting this value of alpha in this that is in equation 1. So, we are going to uh, get the two values of beta also. So, beta it will be equals to minus of 3 by 2 minus of what we have here that is minus of 3 alpha. So, minus of uh, 3 into on putting the value of alpha as 1 by 2, it will become 1 by 2. So, it will be simply equals to minus of 3. So, once value of beta is minus 3. Now, other value we will get by putting this value of alpha. So, we will say beta it will be equals to minus of 3 by 2 minus of 3 into alpha is minus 8 by 7. So, it will be equals to minus minus get plus 8 3 is a 24 so it will be minus 3 by 2 plus 24 divided by 7 so on doing the denominators common that is 14 7 3 is a 2 minus 21 plus it will be 48 this is equals to how much 27 divided by 40 okay now if we will satisfy the value of beta on putting the value of alpha in this uh, equation number 2 okay so, we will say let put alpha is equals to minus 8 by 7 in equation 2. Okay. So, what we will get? Let us see. So, what is the equation number 2 here? That is 2 alpha square into beta 2 alpha square into beta it is equals to minus 3 by 2. So, on solving we get beta is equals to minus 3 divided by 4 into 1 divided by alpha square. Now, alpha is what? Minus 8 divided by 7 is square. It will be equals to minus 3 divided by 4 multiplied by uh, 49 divided by 8 square is nothing but 68. So, on multiplying, it will be equals to how much? That is, so on solving, it will become something minus 147 divided by 212, which is not equals to 27 by 14. This implies that the value of alpha as minus 1 by 8 is not satisfying and hence we can say that here the value of alpha will only be equals to what that is 1 by 2 and if it is 1 by 2 so ultimately the value of beta will be equals to how much that is minus 3 okay it will be equals to minus of 3 now the remaining is the third root that is twice of alpha so, it will be equals to 2 into 1 by 2. So, 2, 2 will be get cancelled out. It will simply become equals to 1. So, from here we can say that the roots of equation are alpha twice of alpha beta is nothing but is equals to 1 divided by 2 into 1 into minus 3. And this is nothing but our required answer. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.